Hello and welcome on Watches TV and today we're going to talk about this. Oh yes, the new Grubel Force GMT Balancier Convex. And for those who have followed us for many years, well, I guess some of you guys know that one of my favorite timepiece uh, or collection I love the most is the Grubel Force GMT. I don't exactly know why, but since the very first time I saw one in the flesh, well, these pieces simply talk to me. A mix of everything, technicality, finishing, its own looks, uh, this earth that makes me travel by simply looking at it, well, I guess you see what I mean or feel about them. And I say them because there has been uh, some serious evolution from the original models, various materials used, even including a quadruple tubular version to the sportier versions, which kind of triggered a new era for the brand until last year's GMT Earth coming in a black attire. And if I always fantasize on owning one, well, that would be the one. Well, all this small tribute intro because the GMT as we knew it is now truly behind us. Tourbillon GMTs are behind and now Grubel Force is introducing this GMT Balancier Convex. So uh, as we all remember, the first GMT was uh, introduced in 2011 and at the time it was as crazy in its design as it was elegant but bold at the same time. White gold, red gold, platinum and uh, platinum red gold mix were used to show uh, the best of the watch, even a titanium version. And this time Grubel Force decided to go back to its this titanium edition, which is obviously lighter and more resilient but totally changed the core of the engine. And we were among the most uh, privileged ones to lay our hands on the model weeks before its official presentation to take a few shots of it. So today we invite you to share with us this exclusive moment to take a closer look at this incredible piece. I simply can't stop admiring the impeccable design of it. I mean, the signature globe we've seen in previous editions reigns supreme here at the, as the dominant feature of the watch. Uh, and the earth occupies a central position on the dial and it is sealed beneath the, beneath the this uh, sapphire crystal in a way that makes you feel as if you're looking at it through the hatch of the space shuttle. And this uh, three-dimensional ocean blue globe, which allows the owner to get an idea of the time anywhere in the world, performs a 24-hour rotation just like our planet. It's very convenient. And it is surrounded by the keywords describing uh, Grover Force's aesthetics with perfection, architecture, complexity, and exclusivity among them that can be attributed to this very model, which is made of 423 components, slightly fewer uh, than the previous uh, models, which generally consisted of 436 parts. But this time, well, less is definitely more. So now let's go back to the complexity of the watch. At its back, you will find a 24 time zone disc with, with 24 reference cities, with those using daylight saving time marked on a white background. And this part is synchronized with the globe in front. And uh, the time is given by doing a projection directly from the globe to the flange. I mean, you can just look at it and you will see where, what the time is all around the world. So quite convenient and uh, functioning indeed as the previous models. But on the dial face, you can immediately see that time is displayed differently with these two upper flanges indicating local time with nicely manufactured uh, red and white pointers coated with superluminova showing hours and minutes and gravitating around the globe like two small satellites. Okay, not that small compared to the size of the Earth, but you get the idea. And at uh, 9 o'clock, you will find a second time zone indication, which can be used very simply by pushing the GMT button on the side of the watch. Extremely easy. And at 5 o'clock, uh, uh, there is a small seconds display partially hovering above the proper hidden gem of the model, actually the movement that you don't see that much apart from this beautiful balance wheel. And why do I say fantastic? Well, as much as I admired the Grubel Force GMT version in the black attire I mentioned before, I must admit that I found a new love today, even though we're not talking tourbillon. Here we find this uh, 30 degrees inclined balance wheel, something seen, uh, for instance, on the Balancier S, beating at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It is suspended in mid-air with its minimalist lines embodying the art of outstanding hand finishing, visible at, at every point along its supporting bridge. I must admit this is mesmerizing and I can serve this and I can observe it uh, I mean all day long. So one of the new features of this watch is a new convex case uh, designed by uh, Grubber Fosse from which uh, the entire convex collection takes its name. As I mentioned before, the case is made out of titanium. It measures 46.5 mm in height, 43.5 in width, 13.75 in thickness, and it fits just snugly on the wrist. 
The ballistic uh, textured rubber strap, which can be in blue or red, adds to a slightly uh, sporter look here. But the model comes with a proper titanium bracelet on demand, matching the grey colour of the dial, which makes it very versatile if you want to wear it with a suit, for instance. And on the more technical side, well, the new GMT Balancier Convex holds 72 hours of power reserve thanks to two coaxial series coupled fast rotating barrels, and this timepiece is water resistant to 100 meters. Last, but maybe the most important part to mention, is that of course it is a limited edition. And the first 22 pieces in the configuration unveiled here will be released one after the other between 2022 and 2024. Its price makes my heart uh, pump a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not talking a cheap watch, of course. And, uh, but nevertheless, I will definitely add this one to uh, my updated wish list. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thanks for watching. See you real soon. And too bad I need to give it back. Uh, yeah, that's the way it is. All the best. A massive VR watchmaking to you. And see you real soon. Bye.